Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can design this opt-in page or landing page using WordPress. And this opt-in page is amazing actually for two reasons. First, I have used a free WordPress plugin to build this type of uh, landing pages or, or opt-in pages. The plugin name is Cadence Blocks Page Builder. So I didn't have to pay any extra charges for a paid WordPress page builder plugin. The second reason why this page is amazing because it loads very fast. The Cadence Blocks Page Builder plugin is known for designing website pages that loads very quickly, which means that people will not have to stay for ages for your page to load to be able to sign up for your free lead magnet. Now, let me show you the experience that you, the people or the visitors of this landing page will go through when they visit this landing page. Of course, they will add their name and email address and when they click the call to action button they will be redirected into a thank you page also the name and email address will be added to your email marketing platform of a choice for this uh, video I'm be, i'll be using the fluent crm uh, email marketing plugin but of course you can connect this landing page or opt-in page to mailchimp brevo um, convert kit or active campaign if you like to do this now let me show you how you can actually design this landing page now, to design this landing page, you will be using, as I mentioned, a free WordPress plugin. It's called Cadence Blocks. This is a free plugin. You can just download it and install it by going to add a new plugin and you search for the Cadence Blocks page builder plugin. Also, I have already installed the Fluent CRM email or marketing automation plugin for WordPress. Instead of connecting this to my MailChimp account, I have I can connect this to my Fluent CRM email marketing automation plugin for WordPress. Now let me show you how you can actually design this type of opt-in pages. So this is a new page that we can name as landing page or opt-in page. Let's call this landing page. And because I'm using the cadence um, theme that now I need to make some, you know, um, tweaks or changes to the design of the overall page itself. For example, I need to remove the header and footer and also the page title. And I can do this by going to the uh, page settings themselves. I will disable the page title also i'll make this the content style unbox it and i will disable the um, vertical padding i will disable the header and footer and click publish publish and now let's view the page um this is the landing page this, this is now a blank landing page we need to um, fill in our design first let me go back to my free landing page to take the text from here so now to design this landing page, we need to use, as I mentioned, the Cadence Blocks page builder. And to do this, we need to click here and we need to draw a row layout. All of these widgets or blocks have been added by the Cadence Blocks page builder plugin and can be used to design a variety of website pages. So we need to take, like, as I mentioned, a row layout here. And then I will choose a one column row layout. The first thing that we need to add is our title. So we need to copy it from here. And then we need to add a title. To add a title, we need to add a heading block or advanced text block. So we click here. We search for a heading block. Let's take this heading block here. And we just paste our block over here. And let's make this center aligned. And now to add an image, we simply click the three dots and click add after. We click the plus button here and add the image block. And let's select our block or our image from the media library. Let's take this one. I think this is the one that we need to take. Click here. Now, this is our image. Let's, you know, resize it here like this. And let's make it center aligned or align this as centered as well. Now, we need to add the text itself. Let me copy it again. Let's click the three dots. If you want to add something be below or before any widget, you just click the three dots here. And you'll find add after or add before, which makes um, this version of WordPress is amazing one. So let's click add after and let's paste our text as well here. And let's again make this center aligned again. Now we need to add the, this heading block. Let's click here. Let's click insert or add after and add our heading block. Now this is a paragraph block. If you want to convert any block into something else, you need to click here because this is a paragraph block. If I click here, I can turn this into a list or a heading or a quote. This is the appropriate conversion widgets for this specific block. I like to choose the heading block 
And you know what? Or you know what? Let's keep this as a paragraph, maybe. And we just need can increase the size of this. So let's make this uh, bold and let's go to the uh, block settings themselves. Let's make this larger here. So now it looks good. Yes, it looks good right now. And now we need to add our opt-in form. Now to add the opt-in form, I'll be using the Cadence Blocks Advanced Form uh, block to be uh, to add this type of opt-in forms. And actually, again, it's a free widget. So let's click here, click Add After, and let's search for the Advanced Form block. This is the Advanced Form block. If you don't find it, you just click Form, and here you'll find two blocks of Cadence Blocks. I need you to disregard this one. This is the uh, legacy or the old uh, form widget, which is not supported anymore, I think. or It's supported currently, but in the future, I don't think Cadence will, will be supporting this widget again. So let's use the advanced form block. So we'll click here. And here we need to create a form and give it a name. So let's click Create New. Here you'll find yourself now, you, you can choose any um, of these templates or initial layouts. So I'll be using, let's use this one. Again, you can choose the style. I will leave this to you. Let's choose the basic and let's call this subscribe with name form because now we can choose different opt-in forms or forms to be added inside any page. And let's give this name like ebook. Let's give this a description, ebook opt-in form, for example, form. And once you design this uh, opt-in form here, you can just choose it or add it to any part of your website page. And let's click Create. So this is our opt-in form here. Uh, if you like to know the structure now, some people get confused when they add more uh, widgets to the page. If you like to be uh, less confused, actually, you can just click this document toggle or document overview button here, and you'll find the structure of the page right now. So let's close this. Now we have, let's start from the beginning. We have a row layout, and inside the row we have a one section or one column. And in by, inside this section we have added a heading, we have added an image, a paragraph, two paragraphs, and we have added the advanced form. It's important that you know the structure of the page, because if you want to move something up and down, now you can do this easily if you know the structure of the page. Sometimes I get confused, so I just go to the document overview um, section or button to know the structure of my page. Now we have this form block. First, we need to design it so we have like the name at the top and the uh, email at the um, at the bottom. So we need to click here to know the structure of the uh, the structure of the form itself. So this form includes a one column and two sections, and inside each section we have a name field, and the second section we have the email field. What we can do actually is that we can drag the email field and add it just under the name here. So as you can see now, we have the name at the top and the email at the bottom. We have, but we have a problem here, which is we have an additional section. If you like to remove this, it's an easy way to remove this. All you need to do is to choose the row layout. And here at the right part of the screen, under the layout of the row layout, you'll find that number of columns, two columns. If we just click here, now we have one column for this row. This is how you can control the structure of any Rows. If you remember when we added this row layout, we have chosen to have like one column row layout. Now, if we want to change this, we can just go to the columns or the layout structure. We can change how many columns we have for this layout. And because the formula block itself has added a row layout, we can still control how many columns are added or included in this uh, form um, row layout. So now we have our name and email address. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to connect this to our email marketing platform, and then we can make some uh, style changes. To do this, make sure that you are uh, going or you are choosing the form parent section. So now this is the advanced form, um, the advanced form settings themselves. And here we have like the submit actions, and also we have the form name. If we want to add another form, we can just choose it from here but I like to keep it like this form. So now to uh, for the support, for the submit actions here, we can choose different actions actually. If we click here, you'll find that you can redirect people to another page, which I'll be using. I want to be able to be redirected into another page. 
Also, I like them to be connected to my Fluent CRM. Now, if you want to connect the advanced form to ConvertKit, Active Campaign, um, uh, Autoresponder, like Pro Addon, MailChimp, and AdHoc, you actually need to have the paid version of uh, Cadence Blocks. I'll be leaving down below my affiliate link if you like to buy the Cadence Blocks uh, Pro. But still, if you just if you are just using MailerLite, you can have up to like 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and if you are using Fluent CRM, you can have unlimited number of, of subscribers, which makes Cadence Blocks free plugin is a good starting point for yourself if you are just starting out your email marketing activities. Anyway, now for the submit actions, I'll be using the redirect. I will just uh, delete the email. If you like to receive an email, I will use two actions actually, um, uh, redirect people to another page and also connect them with Fluent CRM. Once you have chosen these actions here you'll find a new tabs here or two new tabs which is the redirect settings and the fluent crm settings now for the redirect settings here we need to choose which page we need people to go through when they sign up for our opt-in for we search for our thank you page i have already created this so this is my thank you page and for for fluent crm i have another video i will link down below for any for a full tutorial about how you can use Fluent CRM. I need to connect this to my list and also to my tag. If you are connecting this to MailChimp or MailerLite, you need to follow the same process. So for the list, I'll be using my leads list. And now for the tags, I will connect this to my free ebook tag. The last step that you need to make, make sure that you are doing this, is to map the form field name and email to your uh, email marketing platform fields as well. So I need to um, map this name to the first name the email to the email name. Um, if you like to be able to have an opt-in or double opt-in, you can just activate this. So now let's click update. Let's click update and let's view the page. So this now is our page. Of course, we need to make some tweaks to make this looks similar to this landing page. Now let me show you how you can turn this design to this design. So let's go back to our page. Now, first we need to have a background for the rollout, all of the row, all of the content inside this page. To make this, make sure you are choosing the row layout itself. And here at the right part of the screen, you'll find three tabs, layout, style, and advanced. Each one of these will have its own function. For example, for to change the background, we need to go to style. And here we can choose different background types. We have, we can make this a classic, background color, we can add a gradient, we can add a slider, we can add a video even. I like to add a background color, so I click here, I will choose this one. Now we have this, I think, dark green color as our background color. But maybe you are asking yourself, but now all the text is gone. We can actually make this visible if we just go below this and we find the text color settings. Choose this and choose white. Now everything now has turned into a white. Now this all everything now is white to have like a type of contrast. Now still we have the um, the design itself stretched to control the design. We again we need to control the width of the design from the uh, roll out itself again. And you can do this through the layout. And here we can make this, let's say, um, 950 pixels. So the, the width of the page itself now is 950. Now, for the if we click here and we go to the page again and we make a refresh, you'll find something else. So now this page is almost like the um, this page again, but still we need to make some changes. So we need to stretch this across all of the screen and we can easily do this by going to our rollout sections, but not in this case, we need to choose this and make this full width. Now it's now stretched, the uh, background color is stretched across all of our screen. I think now we are almost um, close to this landing page. What we need to do is we need to change the background color of this call to action. So let's go here. To do this, we need to make sure that we are choosing the advanced form and un inside the advanced form, make sure that you are choosing the submit button. Here we have the styling options or the options relevant to the submit or the call to action button. To make any type of style changes, we go to style and let's make the background color. Let's make this like white and let's make the text like 
um, black now the text is um, contrasting very well let's say let's change this to yes yes I want the ebook and let's make this central line I think we can make it from here yes now this is central line if you like to know how because if you go here you'll find there is a space between the name and the email field it is easy to be um, designed we need the rest we need to choose the form itself and I think if we go to the style let me click here if we go to the general tab let me search for it sometimes I need to search for a few things here yes I have found it it's actually inside the section itself we need to go to the row gap we click here and we slide this one we can control the size between the um, the name field and the email field itself so let's click update save and let's go to the page and let's click refresh as you can see now we have a similar landing page to this one now they look exactly similar maybe the width is not the same but still we have the same look and feel for example we need to make this not bold so we can go here and make this not bold I think we if we like to you know squeeze it a bit a little bit we can do this by going to the rolly out and let's make this 900 only and let's click update and let's go here and let's click refresh now this landing page looks exactly or almost like the one that I have shown you at the beginning of this uh, video now let's test the experience of the user so let's add a name here let me call this Sharif and let's add Sharif email at gmail.com and let's click yes I want the ebook I should be redirected now now I'm redirected into my thank you page now if I go to Fluent CRM I go to the contact pages or the contacts I should be able to use see Sharif let's see yes now we have a new contact that has been added inside our Fluent CRM contact name Sharif leads list uh, tags as free ebook and the uh, status is subscribed of course now I can set up like automations and funnels and um, many things as well to um, offer something paid for our email subscribers after they have signed up using our um, landing page that we have actually designed a few minutes ago so this is how easy you can design an opt-in page or a landing page like this using the cadence blocks page builder plugin which again is a free plugin and also makes opt-in pages and landing pages that loads very fast hopefully you find this video helpful if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos three times a week to help you create more effective wordpress websites now thank you so much and see you in the next video bye for now